Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create a glass shader or a glass material inside the Unity HDRP, and this is using Unity 2021, and you can do this in previous version or versions after this. And you can create really realistic looking glass with refraction and with the settings that you can control between this, and it's really easy to put together, so I'll show you it today. I'm using the Seed Hunter demo to showcase this. So you can get that and I'll put the link in the description to check it out on the Unity store for absolutely free. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the descriptions for all the savings on the Humble Bundle, Unity store and all the savings for game dev. Be sure to throw a like on this video and be subscribed for more. So when you're in your HDRP scene here, I've just got two particular assets which I'm going to sort of simulate this on and it's a cube and it's a sphere just default objects primitives from unity right to start off with you can right click in the project panel and choose material and we're just going to call this our glass sphere and then I'm going to get the sphere and I'm going to apply that material to my object now from there what we can do is go to the right hand side on the inspector and you can go to the surface type make sure the surface type is set to transparent then from there, you can leave everything by default, but we want to move down. In some cases, you can add a double-sided material if that's what you want to achieve, because sometimes materials do require to be double-sided if you've only got one side of a plane, let's say, and you wanted to apply this to that. We're not worried about that as of yet, but it's just an option that you can do. You can go to the base map and you can look at and set the color to something pretty dark, near enough black, and then take the alpha all the way down to zero. Then we get a completely transparent object, which you can almost get away with being glass. Then what we want to do is you can take the smoothness value up to about 0.95. So then you get starting to get the reflections in the sort of object itself. It could almost look a bit like a bubble or a shiny glass. And remember, this has got the reflections because I've got reflection probes in this scene and the reflection probes break out the actual reflections for the scene. So if you didn't have those reflections, you would want a reflection probe in there. You can go back onto your material again, and you can look down at the bottom, which is the transparency inputs and the refraction model. So these are very specific to types of glass that you're going to create, or any sort of object that would refract light through it. So you can choose sphere in this case, and then you can see at this point in time, we get the sphere, which does refract all of the reflections that are in the scene, and you can get lots of different levels of distortion. Now you can adjust the refraction index, which you can see when I slide it backwards or slide it forwards, you get either a more or bigger distortion with how it refracts the light in it. So you can create various different sort of fisheye if you wanted a sort of crystal ball or something like that. And we also have an option for thickness. So if you see when I move this down, you can see it just about moving, but we need to apply a color to this. So because this scene is a little bit dark and a little bit scary, we might leave it as a red. As you can see, when I move this around, you get the red object. And now if we take this down, you can see that it becomes less thick as we can see through this object as we scale it up it will become a solid, thick, refracted object. And then you can also adjust the transmittance absorption distance with how close or far it renders away from the camera. So we have one example there for a sphere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that material and I'm just going to call this my glass cube. And then in this case, I'm going to apply that to my glass cube and you can almost get away with it being very similar. With my glass cube, I want to change this to the actual box. We can also change the refraction index and you can look at different values for different refractive objects. Again, you can decrease or increase the thickness of how thick you think the object should be. But I might want to leave this on a white sort of object and increase the thickness. You can create different types of glass with different refraction values to make it look really awesome. And remember, you do want a reflection probe in your scene if you want to reflect specific objects around the world. And the specific post-processing effect which would make this more apparent is the screen space reflections, which make things in screen space more accurate. And this is just the basis of creating your HDRP glass style materials. So I hope you found this useful. Do let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions, do come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. 
Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with great savings on my website. I want to say a big thank you to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Tan Yanlin, David76, Sammy Romani, Jean Pomy, Nigoyan, Matt Cindy Dinos, Zach, Manos Barakas, Terence Conrad, Gade Linston, Walter Dunson, John John Games, Joseph Newman, Randall X, Mumu Zoo, Renny Leisure, Darren M, and Topher Chambers. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.